there's ever increasing people pressure on the amount of fish to be taken from the waterway. White bait catches in the lower Kaituna River have declined massively since surveying first began in the 1930s. Now, assisted by local councils and community groups, volunteer Peter Ellery has embarked on a mission to rejuvenate the whitebait population. He's created a series of small ponds linked to the river to maximise the spawning potential. More and more people want to come whitebaiting. Part of the problem of that is as well is that it's, um, that it's still a commercial fishery and, and in actual fact it's the only fishery in New Zealand where recreational fishers can sell their catch. And to a certain degree that leads to a lot of people spending the whole day on the side of the river in the hope that they might make a couple hundred bucks for the day. Ellery is a strong supporter of decommercialising whitebait fishing everywhere, except the west coast, which he says can sustain a commercial industry. But if everywhere else it was the same as trout, you can catch some, you can give some away, you're not allowed to sell it. That would take quite a lot of pressure off it. It's not just overfishing that's being blamed for the falling numbers. The deterioration of the wetlands has also played a part. Both here and across the river, both, both of the spawning areas for this river were quite considerably degraded and, and in need of enhancement. And also because of the overall loss of habitat, any little bit that's put in makes a difference. Originally called the Borrow Pits, the project was launched by the Makatu Tayapure Committee of Management to improve the quality and quantity of the local spawning habitat. Fish from both here and from quite a long way up and down river will arrive here because this is their spawning location and there will literally be tens of thousands of them arrive and they'll all pile into the corner there on the side of the channel where the bridge is there and they will congregate around the back of one piece of vegetation there and they will all spawn and leave their eggs in the vegetation there. You can't actually see the spawning process because it's happening back in the vegetation, but you can certainly see the thousands of fish that are circling around the area. As well as being the perfect habitat for spawning, the ponds also offer protection from predators, although eels often slip through for a quick bite to eat. So eels are part of the, the wildlife that live in the habitat and these weedy ponds are absolutely perfect habitat for them. They're there and they like a feed. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.